Hi guys, today we're going to be reacting to another video from the Heart of the Czar Go to Bed With Me series. This time, however, it's going to be really interesting because we're about to see what the skincare routine of a 71-year-old woman, a model, looks like. So you see me in full glam because I'm at New York Fashion Week. So I'm really curious to see what kind of anti-aging treatments, what kind of things she's doing to preserve her skin. Now, mature skin can be really hard to work with. She is stubborn and she does not want to cooperate. However, with the right tools, you can see her back down to her place and I'm talking about retinols vitamin C's and antioxidants and even possibly peptides so really these are the three main things that I'm looking to see in her skin routine and if she doesn't have them well I'm gonna be a little bit concerned for her skin but anyways without further ado you guys let's get to reacting shall we so as we're in New York there is some outside noise from traffic and if only they had a Tesla we would have a quiet New York wouldn't that be lovely and we could do a video without reshooting every time they make a noise. Well, I'm sure that if everyone could afford a Tesla, we would have so many less problems in this world, honey, trust me. <laughs> ah. My skincare routine at night, because I'm lazy and I'm- She's so pretty with makeup on, aww. And I'm quick, and I'm usually tired, especially after a big party. Well, no, I don't really party that much, but <laughs> but after an event in the evening, then I need to take off all this makeup. So you see me in full glam because I'm at New York Fashion Week, attending shows and doing book signings. When I was younger, I had that oily pack. You can really tell she must have been a stunning woman. Well, I mean, she already is, but also I want to point out, look at her skin. She has little to no wrinkles, you guys. Also, no dark spots, no sunspots, nothing. You can really tell she must have been taking really good care of her skin. Honestly, we're starting really on a good note right here. So let's continue to see. That oily patch and then the dryness. I also had pimples. At, from time to time, especially as a teenager, when I started modeling at 15. Now, I don't know, aging seems to work so well, because I'm 71 now, and my skin is better than ever. I don't go in this. She started modeling at 15. She definitely must have not gone through a rough time in terms of looks in her teens, and honestly, it shows. Me, at 15, I was like the before picture of an extreme makeover show, and I like to think that I did glow up, but she, but she, she must have just popped out of her mom glowing. Good for you. Honestly, Maya, good for you. But actually, she's making a really good point here, and that is that with time, our skin changes. So we might have oily skin in our teens, but then with age, our skin could become normal or even dry skin types. And also the opposite, it's very rare, but it could happen. And on top of that, our skin can change, for example, depending on seasons or where we are in the world. In the summer, our skin is a lot more oily, and during the winter, our skin is a lot more dry. That could happen. So really, you guys, when you're young, enjoy your oily skin, embrace your dry skin, and just be happy with what you have. Just deal with it. I don't go in the sun at all. I wear a hat, I wear sun protection creams because I really can't get sun onto my skin. It's aging. So that's my number one. Number two. I okay, see, I told you she knew what she was doing. She was taking care of her skin because, you guys, the sun, as she said, is truly the devil. Every morning when you wake up, the first thing I want you to say, and every night before going to bed, the last thing I want you to say is, the sun is bad, the sun is aging. If I don't wear sunscreen every day, my beauty will be fading. <laughs> I just came up with this on the spot, but remember it because it's true, you guys. Maya, I'm actually so happy right now. This is going so well, you guys. But number two, I'm a dietitian, so I eat very well and I eat lots of fruits and vegetables and beans and nuts and seeds as well as whole wheat breads and then fish also has shown to be good for your skin. First of okay, so what she said is actually so true, you guys, because skincare and having nice skin is not all about having all these like 10,000 skincare products and apply them and having a 20 step skincare routine. Because if you don't eat well and you don't eat good foods, then your skin will never be at its full potential. Because as she said, all these foods that she mentioned, they're all amazing for her skin. Actually, I've made a whole series where we act to celebrities' diets and what they eat in a day. Like, like for example, what Kylie eats in a day. So if you're more curious into seeing what foods are good for you and good for your skin, or bad for your skin and trust me some foods could also be aging you I know shocking then just go watch the video and there's a lot more information there I won't go in depth here just because I have some more videos so go watch them let's keep watching oh I don't usually look like this because I have these fabulous false eyelashes on can you see the difference 
a day when I have false eyelashes on. Okay, so honestly, falsies do make a huge difference, trust me, I know. But so I just want to point out, did you see how she was taking off her lashes? She was just like pulling and there was a lot of tugging on the eyelid, as you can see. And that in the long term, in the long run, can cause wrinkles, especially if you are wearing falsies every day, you guys. So actually, I have a tip, which I learned from Miss Jackie Ina. She's a beautiful beauty YouTuber. She is so knowledgeable and honestly one of my favorites. And she's so funny too, by the way. And what she does is literally take a Q-tip or a cotton swab, whatever you want to call it, and dip it in your oil cleanser or makeup remover, whatever you're using, and then take the cotton swab and just rub it all over the lashes and wait for a second there for it to work. It's magic. And then you can start gently, just very gently peeling it off. And then while you're peeling it off with the cotton swab, you just go there under the lash and slowly take it off. And trust me, that will be a lot less damaging to your eyelid. I have false eyelashes on. My eyes look so huge and now they're looking a little normal. So now I'm going to take the skin cleanser and I'm going to wash my face. Get, let's get my hair back. We need it out of, out of the way so that it doesn't, I'm just going to open a button so I can do my neck as well when I start cleaning. Okay, so you can see it is quite a thick makeup remover and I'm going to be washing my face. Making sure I'm making Okay, so she's going in with an oil cleanser from Dior Prestige. Actually, let me quickly do a little bit of background research and I'm gonna come back to you with the degree list and what I think about this. Okay, so actually this is quite nice because it is rose-based and I actually like the ingredient list. I mean, it's just a normal oil balm. You don't definitely need no Dior. A approved. We approved that. Making sure I get all the makeup off. So you can see now I have nothing on my Okay, so she dried up with her skin with a towel. She was being very gentle, mind you, because I didn't see any like very harsh tugging on her skin. However, she was going up and down and that can cause a little bit of dragging and pulling on your skin. So really, if you have to use a towel, it would be best to just pat it. But as you guys know, I personally don't like to use a towel. I like to stay wet throughout the whole entire skin routine. We love being wet on this channel once again, like I always say. But that is because wet skin actually allows your skincare products to sink in and be absorbed a lot deeper. On top of that, if you don't wash your towels quite frequently, it could be a breeding ground for bacteria and we all know bacteria ain't good. Let's keep watching. Nothing on my face and it's completely clean and clear. So uh, as I say, you can look forward to getting older. When I was a teenager and I was modeling, I love her positive outlook on getting older. That is really nice. Modeling, I had to get rid of the pimples on my face, but there were no special creams then or any medications for it. So I would, put very hot water in a sink and I would put my head over it with a towel and steam my face. Things are much better now. My next product I'm going to show you is Perlosophy and it's an eye cream. The thing is, now that I've become... Okay, so once again, let me look up this cream and I'm gonna come back at you with what I think about this. Okay, you guys, so I tried to look this up. However, it was all just in Chinese and even the ingredient list, so I couldn't really understand anything because I don't speak Chinese. However, I will go with the hunch that this cream is actually quite great just because we all know Asian skincare in general is years ahead of Western skincare, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is a good cream. However, I do wanna say you don't necessarily need an eye cream in your skincare routine just because you can do it perfectly fine with your normal moisturizer Whatever you're using on your face, you can just pat it under your eyes and it will be perfectly fine. Now that I've become a supermodel at 69 because I'm a cover girl, I get given a gift. So this is a gift and uh, it's great for my eyes. You can see it's got kind of like a little round, soft round thing. And so you squirt it out and then you put it on your eyes like this. It's like a gentle massage on the eyes. It's lovely, lovely. And then I'll do the other eye squeeze out a bit and then you do the other eye. So just a gentle cream for the eyes. And for my lips, my lips are always dry so I like to have the CoverGirl Lip uh, Balm. We all love glossy, moisturized, and plump lips. Yes, ma'am. I mean, we have to stay ready for whenever that time comes. For some of us, that time hasn't come in a, quite a long time. But you know, you, you always have to stay ready because you never know when the right man could be coming through your door. No? Okay, well at least I tried. <laughs> that is so no sad. No, why is it Let's keep watching. My night cream. So here I'm using Dior Prestige Le Nectar de Nuit. 
and this is for a night serum for the face and the neck and again okay so once again i'm gonna look up the ingredients and i'm gonna come back first of all it is just very pricey so just oh, oh, it was more than 300 pounds but i'm looking at the ingredient list and i see a lot of dimethicones a lot of squalenes a lot of hydrating alcohols like for example sterile alcohol sterile alcohol which are good alcohols in skincare i also see centella leaf extract which is just all the rage in asian beauty and then i also see oatmeal extract so this is just basically a very hydrating serum moisturizer so i can see how this could be very just nourishing for mature skin apart from fragrance but you know it's it's we allow we allow let's keep watching and it's a gift when I'm given gifts I love to try them and especially when it's simple and I can understand what I'm meant to use it for and like night cream that's easy sometimes there's a lot of complications in it and then I get confused so I put some in my hand and then I just oh feel so good after a wash it's nice to go to to bed uh, fully hydrated I also put it on my neck the lighting here is great, so I'm sure I'm looking like I'm 25, which is fine by me. Yes, you do, honey. You look young, you look youthful, and you look pretty. Yes. There you go. I feel completely hydrated and ready to go to bed. So as a mom... Wait, is she done with her skin... No, I'm just confused. Is she done with her skin coating? What's they say? It? She... She didn't use a ser... I'm speechless. But we just did a moisturizer that was just like one step. And that moisturizer didn't even contain like retinoid. Ma'am, I thought you were a model. I thought you was basically forced to take care about your skin. Notice that I'm saying retinoid. And that is because there's a difference between retinoid and retinol. And even though she didn't mention anything about retinols and retinoids, I'm still going to talk about it. There is a huge difference. So retinoids are actually the purest form of vitamin A that you can find around. So that means that they're the strongest version that you can get of a vitamin A. And also their only prescription. And so usually these are prescribed to people like, for example, who have to fight a lot of acne or also these are great for people with mature skin this is why i'm saying she needs a retinoid so like for example tretinoin differin adapalene these are all examples of prescription only retinoid however there is a drawback to these retinoids and that is that they cause a lot of irritation a lot of dryness in the skin it really just can be a hassle of getting onto a retinoid and also your skin getting used to a retinoid now retinols instead are completely different they're basically just a retin a ester so they're basically just a weaker form of a retinoid and so these are actually what you can find in normal skincare like for example the ordinary or whatever retinol you might be using and these are still very effective i feel like for someone in their 20s 30s and they don't have any issues with acne then i would say like a retinol would be totally fine for that if you're then maybe in your 40s 50s and you really want to get like that anti-aging boom protection then i would say go ahead and get a prescription retinoid but her she's in the 70s i definitely think she needs one so i'm just shocked let's keep watching at all you learn a lot about skincare because everybody talks about it you're having your your makeup done and someone will put a lotion on you and it feels good and they tell you about it or sometimes they'll put a mask on me and they just say to rehydrate my skin before before they put on makeup that's lovely too sometimes an under eye pads they'll do it's quite a treat it feels refreshing and relaxing so I'm always happy to try any new things but I won't do it before a beauty job because if I'm going to do a makeup job coming up or a modeling job, I need a week's break in case they have some products in it which makes the skin peel a bit. You can't have your skin peeling, especially if you're doing a close-up on the face. But anyway, even if you're not a model, you don't want your skin peeling when you're going out. So you just need to be careful. If you're trying new products, make sure you're not too busy that week. Well, oh, okay, so that was actually a cute advice. Was it really helpful? Not really, but it was still cute. <laughs> I feel like what she was actually ultimately trying to say is that you guys, you really have to ease into your skincare. Going back to like, for example, using retinols or retinoids, you really want to take it slowly. So don't go ahead and buy the strongest percentage you can find around first thing. And also don't use it every night, like right from the get go. Dipping first your toes and then you can slowly get into water and get used to the hot water or slash cold water. Why am I referring to water? I don't know. But so you guys, if you see any irritation, any redness in the skin, that is actually a sign they're using too much too soon. So it's actually good advice. We, we like that. Well, that's my skincare routine. I hope you learned something. And now I'm off for New York Fashion Week. 
Okay, so first of all, I want to say she sounds like such a sweet lady. I bet she could be a really cool grandma. I am really shocked with how simple her skin routine is, especially for a woman with mature skin. And on top of that, a model. Like, I would expect Millie Bobby Brown to have this skin routine, but not a woman that is 70 years old. Like, she was lacking all the active ingredients, all the things that are just shown and proven to reduce the signs of aging. But hey, I guess this is just a great example of what a simple skin routine looks like. And maybe less is more Wix great for her because let's be honest, like not everyone is addicted to skincare just like you and I. Not everyone wants or needs a skincare store in their bathroom cabinet. Like that's just the truth. And also on top of that, her skin, I mean, it looks amazing. I'm sure she got something done. Like for example, maybe some skin tightening and PRP or maybe just a little bit of Botox filler too on top of that. Let's shh. But still, her skin looks amazing nevertheless. I mean, I always say, why try and fix something that's not broken? So honestly, you guys, there is an overall lesson coming from this skincare routine and that is you just gotta do you boo whatever works for you honestly great if you're seeing results with whatever you're using just even just one moisturizer if your skin is not getting irritated if your skin is not getting dried up or whatever if your skin is perfect with just that moisturizer then don't listen to anybody else telling you you need this you need that you need that honestly you really don't need anything at the end of the day you are the only one who actually really truly knows what your skin needs apart from a dermatologist but do listen to a dermatologist please. But nevertheless, I have to say I was quite disappointed, very disappointed with her skincare routine. I was getting into this video expecting all sorts of crazy anti-aging skincare tips that I'll be getting and I'll be like, oh my god, I just need to do all this. When actually, like, my skincare routine is more anti-aging focused and crazier than her. Which, I mean, to be honest, it doesn't take much because she's literally just using a moisturizer. But honestly, I am aware that I'm the crazy, we are the crazy ones out here because normal people, they are not that crazy and obsessed with skincare just like me and you. Like, honestly, only Jesus knows what kind of crazy extra stuff I'll be doing when I'll be 70 in order to preserve my skin. Like, honestly, at the rate that I'm going at right now, I feel like at 70, I'll be hibernating myself every night, like, in a meat locker at zero degrees Celsius to preserve my skin. And they'll be like, excuse me, ma'am, this is a meat locker. We use this to preserve dead animals' meat. And I'll be like, well, yeah, if you don't let me sleep in here, I'm gonna be as dead and as preserved as them. So please, shut up, turn the lights off, and let me have my beauty sleep. Thank you. <laughs> How do I even come up with this stuff? <laughs> I, am I okay? Am I, am, I, am I okay? Honestly. But anyways, randoms, as always, now it's your turn. I want to hear your opinion and what you think about this skincare routine. Is there anything you would change? Is there any criticism that you don't agree with whatever I said? Honestly, just drop everything down below in the comments and I'll be replying to you because I always reply to each and every one of your comments. Yes, I do. Because I love to interact and connect with you guys. So anyways, if you enjoyed this review, if you watched this far, girl, you know what that means. I'm going to tell you what that means. That probably means that you like me, don't you? You like what you're seeing over here. You like all this craziness, don't you? Honestly, don't lie to yourself. So, girl, Girl, what I actually advise you to do is actually join the family. We are always fun and we also are always crazy about skincare. So if you two are obsessed with skincare just like me and you would lock yourself in a meat locker in order to preserve your skin and be beautiful forever, honestly, this is just the place that is right for you. So you should just subscribe and turn the bell icon on so that you don't miss any of the uploads. But all randoms to all my regular subscribers watching, it is now time for the Italian word of the video. And since this video was all about this really simple just like bare minimum skin routine then the Italian word of the video is going to be minimo which is minimal mi minimum minimum in English minimal is minimale in Italian. But hey, ma'am, excuse me, what are you about to do? I know that you're about to click off this video, but honestly, you don't have to because I have made other videos for you to watch. If you enjoyed this reaction, I have other reactions here on my channel that you should probably go watch. So honestly, I'm gonna put these two videos right here and I promise that I will deliver as much fun, as much information like I did in this video. So honestly, girl, click on one of them. But oh, remember to be random and always be random. Yes. <laughs> click one them. Honestly, what are you waiting for?